The first week of the season done and dusted and the Australian Open starting in a week's time. The seeds have been confirmed and they're all locked in. We've got some really interesting players that are playing in the seeds and we've also got some players who are really dangerous unseeded players. Let's go have a look at who is actually seeded for the Australian Open this year. So starting with the ladies seeds and Fernandez, she'll be the number 32 seed with Buzkova coming in as the number 31 seed. Wong will be number 30 with Zhu at 29. Sharenko should be number 28 with Navarro at 27. Paolini will be number 26. Mertens at 25. Kalanina at 24. Potapova will be the number 23 seed with Kostera at 22. Vekic at 21. And Lynette at 20. Svetolina had a really good week this week. She'll be the number 19 seed with Azarenka at number 18. Alexandrova should be the 17th seed with Garcia. At number 16, Kudmatova at 15, Kazakina at 14, Samson over at 13, and Zhang at 12. Ostapenko, she'll be number 11 seed with Adaj Meyer at number 10, Krajikova at number 9, and then the top eight. Sakri at number 8, 7 will be Vondrusova, Jabir will be number 6, with Pagula at number 5, and the top four, Koko Goff. She'll be the number four seed with Rabakina at number three, Sabalenka at two, and Sviontek will be the top seed. So there have been a couple of withdrawals in the top 20. Players like Kvitova, Keys, and of course Mukova in the top 10. So it did give a lot of players a chance to get into that seeds for the Australian Open. Having a look at some of the dangerous unseeded players, Sophia Kennan, she won't be seeded at the Australian Open. She just missed out by a couple of spots. So she is going to be a really dangerous unseeded player. Mira Andreva, another dangerous unseeded player, of course, broke out on the seen last year. Daniel Collins, former finalist, very dangerous unseated player for somebody in a first round. And of course, Naomi Osaka, very, very dangerous unseated player coming into the tournament. Nobody wants to play her in the first round. Two-time champion here in Australia. So some really dangerous names there that could potentially play a top player in the first rounds. So over on the men's side, we've got Lehechka at the number 32 seed with Bublik at 31. Echeverry will be number 30. With Quarter coming in at number 29. Grigsbor at 28. Ogier at 27, but he does have some injury concerns. So we'll see if he actually does play the Australian Open. Baez, he'll be number 26 with Musetti at 25. Struve at 24. Vakina at 23. Sarundalo at 22. Umber at 21. Manorino, he'll be at number 20 with Nori at number 19. Jerry at 18. Tiafo at 17. Shelton, he'll be at number 16 with Hashinov at number 15. Paul at 14. Dimitrov at 13. Fritz will be at number 12 with Rude at number 11. Demonor at number 10 after making his top 10 debut this week. Her catch at 9. And then the top 8. Runa at 8. City Pass at 7, Zverev at 6, Rublev at 5, Sinner at 4, Medvedev at 3, Alcaraz at 2, and Novak Djokovic, the number one seed for this year's Australian Open. Some really interesting names there, especially in the top 8 and the top 16 going into this year's Australian Open. Now for the dangerous unseeded players for the men, starting with Safiulin, he's had a really good couple of months, so definitely someone that nobody wants to play early, especially Alcaraz, who actually lost to Safiulin in Paris last year, so got to keep an eye out for him. Andy Murray, of course, we've got to put him in there because it seems like every single tournament, he's the dangerous unseeded player. And we've seen over the time, he's played a lot of five setters in first rounds against some of the big boys. So definitely got to watch out for Andy Murray and where he falls. Stan Wawrinka, of course, former champion here and is really capable of beating anyone, kind of like Murray, still has it even at his age. So really dangerous player for a lot of players, especially those seeds in a first round. And Rusevori just made a final in Hong Kong and could be really, really dangerous for some of those seeded players in early rounds. There's some dangerous unseeded players for the men's side of things as well. There it is, the Australian Open seeds being confirmed. And also, the draw will be coming out in a couple of days' time. So we'll get to find out if any of those dangerous players do play against some of the big names. It's going to be really interesting this year. Of course, Rafa Nadal pulling out. That was a bit of a shame. So he won't be a dangerous unseeded player. But there are still some big names playing. And some of the big seeds actually have some injury concerns too. So it could be really interesting if somebody does play Novak Djokovic, one of those dangerous players, like a Rusevori playing Djokovic in an early round, if that wrist is still hurting. So... It's going to be interesting. Let me know down in the comments below. What's the most dangerous unseated player for you? And who are you most excited to watch at the Australian Open this year? Of course, I'm sure, a lot of people are going to be excited to watch Fiontech and Djokovic. But what about some of the other lower seeds, if you're excited to watch them at the Australian Open? But the seeds, they're locked in for this year's Australian Open.